Hello everybody, it is time for another Fire Emblem Heroes banner reaction. This time we got another desert theme, which is eh. I don't really care about the desert theme that much. Um, but we, also, we saw some silhouettes. People are thinking it's gonna be Hawkeye and Altina. Let's just see what we got here. So in other news, I actually just finished the Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet DLC. It's actually really good. Kieran's the goat. Uh, regardless of that, just thought I'd mention it because I literally just finished it like 10 minutes ago. It was so goaded, bro. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I literally just beat it, so I'm just thinking about it. It's on the brain, bro. Uh, that looks like Altina, Unrivaled Dawn, yup. It takes yep. to wield two blades at once, but I Ooh. put in the effort. Twin axes? Okay, that actually is really good art. That is really good art. Arms of the three. What the heck? Attack defense, bulwark four, times pulse four. Oh boy. All right, what do we what do we got here? It lowers foes stats and slows activation of their specials. Gotcha. Void Torm. Okay. How much damage? She's gonna have a lot of damage reduction, surely, right? Surely. Yup. Well, not that much actually. Arms of the three. How much damage? I didn't do that much damage. What? <laughs> Did I miss something there? Uh, is this Catria? No. I fight so that someday children will be free to grow up in peace. Oh, Juno. Oh, I know Juno. Okay. I remember Juno. Guard bearing four. Attack defense oath four. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine, I guess. That's that's pretty uh, that's pretty mid. Um, the weapon could be cool, though. I think I saw a bonus double in there or for something. The children. the children. Yeah. For Kieran. <laughs> for Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry. On the brain, bro. On the brain. All right. Demote next. Demote. We got Roy? No, wait. Uh, Path of Radiance guy, right? I used to live in the desert with my friends in the Lagoo's Emancipation Army. Yeah, Tormod. Okay, Tormod is finally getting uh, finally getting in the game. Okay, Nabata Beacon. Interesting. Oh, it's got that unit cannot be slowed by terrain thing again. Yeah. Okay. Is that how like? I thought that was the theme of the last banner. Are they just doing this again? Ooh. Okay, hold on though. That was kind of cool. Done. Yeah, Tormod, finally in the game. About time, buddy. Sheesh. All right, and the duo. Uh, who is who is it? Who is that? I get to fight beside you, Lady Louise. Oh, it's Louise. I'm such a wonderful woman. Oh, that's okay. I was I know it's Igri, but I was like, who the heck was that? It's Louise. Okay, I couldn't even tell. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. They're both introduced in desert maps, so I'm with you. that's funny, I guess. Um, pulse up blades. Hello. Pulse up? What? <laughs> What's pulse up? Okay. Um, cool, I guess. All right then. I didn't even take a look at what that was. I'll have to just pay attention later. <laughs> we are invincible. I I hope that actually isn't true. Now they they just look like a, if unit initiates combat, unit Such wins. Fun. Oh, plus one movement. Hold on now. Destroys get under gap. Yup. You must Obliterates her. <sighs> Assigned decoy mean nothing. See ya. All right, well that's uh that's cool. Altina's art is so good. Oh my gosh, Altina's art is actually so freaking good. Honestly, all the art all, all the art on this banner is pretty good. And they have Hawkeye. Hawkeye's our Tempest. Okay, it does it does look like Hawkeye. Okay, um, this is probably a skip for me honestly, unless it's Altina. Altina does seem pretty cool. Tormod get finally getting the game is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's let's peep these skills here. Let let's take a look at these skills. Altina here has got the Arcadian Axes, which accelerates special trigger minus one. Unit attacks twice. Brave effect. Yeah. Even if foe initiates combat, unit attacks twice. Unit can counterattack regardless of foe's range. Okay, already pretty good. Brave weapon and special or slaying and distant counter already very very good. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is above or equal twenty five percent, inflicts all all stats except for speed minus X on foe during combat. X equal to 20% of units res at the start of combat, plus 5. Not bad, not bad. And also, if foe's attack can trigger foe's special, and units res is above foe's res, plus 5. Inflicts a special cooldown count, plus 1 on foe, before foe's first attack during combat. Okay, that's not bad. Preventing specials is very, very solid. And I think that still works against um, things with, like, no guard, right? I'm pretty sure that still works against no guard. I want to say. I could be wrong. Interesting though, very very interesting. So like they, she disables the instant special, and then she counterattacks with two hits. And since she has slaying, 
Um, she's gonna trigger arms of three, or sorry, arms of the three, which when special triggers boost damage by 40% of units res, and neutralizes foes reduce damage by X% percent skills from non-special skills. Okay, beautiful, gets rid of damage reduction. At the start of combat, if unit special is ready and units res is above foes res, reduce the damage from attacks during combat and from area of effect specials uh, to 30%. Okay, so this is, um, this is literally like better vital Astra, but based on res. Kind of. Um, watch this be inheritable. I'm gonna laugh if this is inheritable, bro. I don't think it will be, but it might be. I don't know. Uh, it's, it feels a little too good to be inheritable. I don't know. They might. Uh, it's it's freaking gen whatever gen run now meta. It's it's freaking crazy, bro. Uh, she's got attack res finish forced, uh, times pulse force, so she can loop that special. And for the new skill, she's got attack and defense bulwark four, which is foes with range of one cannot move through spaces adjacent to unit, and foes within or with range of two cannot move through spaces within two spaces of unit. Okay, so that's the bulwark effect. Inflicts attack and defense minus four on foe and reduces damage from foe's first attack by 40% during combat, uh, and then restores seven HP to unit after combat. Okay, that's not bad. That is honestly not bad. So this is she's basically just here to be like an omni tank solo wall. Even though omni tanks aren't really that good anymore, but maybe the. Uh, Prevention of specials could help her out here. It, it's going to be uh, pretty interesting to see, especially since she has the brave effect that she can counter uh, counteract with. So she'll be able to trigger arms of a three and then another skill potentially. Um, we'll have to see. She could she could be very very good, very very good Altina here. Uh, next we've got Juno with the Blade of Sands, which accelerates special trigger minus one at the start of turn if unit is within two spaces of an ally. Grants speed and res plus six, bonus doubler, and null panic to unit and allies within two spaces of units for one turn. If unit initiates combat or within two spaces of an ally, grants all stats plus five to unit. Neutralize effects that guarantee foes fall up attacks and effects that prevent units fall up attacks and deals damage equal to 20% of unit speed during combat. Okay, that's fine. That, that's decent. That's a decent weapon, honestly. That's a decent weapon. We've got Guard Bearing 4 and Attack and Defense Oath 4, which you already know exactly what that does. She'd probably prefer Attack and Speed Oath 4 because she has, like, speed-based stuff in her weapon. So, yeah, probably not good for her specifically, but if anybody needs Attack and Defense Oath 4, it is now in the game. Uh, next, we've got Tormod. He's, um... He's mid, obviously he is mid, but he's got the Nabata Beacon Plus, which is at the start of turn, if unit is within two spaces of an ally, grants the unit cannot be slowed by terrain um, effect or whatever, and desperation to unit for one turn. If unit initiates combat within two spaces of an ally, grants all stats plus four to unit during combat and deals damage equal to 10% of unit's attack. Honestly, guys, that's not even that bad for a demote weapon. That's actually a pretty decent demote weapon, all things considered. Desperation, um, no, no being slowed by terrain, plus four to all stats, and 10% attack true damage. It's honestly not that bad. It's not good, but it's not terrible. Speed res tempo three is fine, and then speed res gap three is like, why is, why? Stop. Just stop. Just stop, Aya. Stop. Just, what are you doing, bro? What even is that? <laughs> what actually even is that? Finally, we have, uh, a green here, uh, with Louise. We've got the sand glass bow. Accelerate special trigger, minus one. Effective against flying foes, obviously, because it's a bow. At the start of turn one, grants special cooldown count minus two. Interesting. That's going to be really good for uh, AoE stuff. At the start of turn, if unit is within two spaces of an ally, grants the following to unit and infantry and armored allies in two spaces. Unit cannot be slowed by terrain. And unit can move one extra space for one turn. Oh. Okay. Um... That's interesting. So you can just make anybody nearby and yourself have just plus one movement. That's crazy. Okay, that's crazy. That's really crazy, honestly. Um, thank goodness it's not given to flyers. <laughs> Hinoka already did that enough, bro. Oh my gosh, with charge. Uh, yeah, that's um, that's pretty freaking good. If unit initiates combat or within two spaces of an ally, grants attack and speed plus 60 units during combat and deals damage equal to 15% of units attack. Yo, attack based off of attack is crazy. And also, when unit special triggers, deals damage equal to X% percent of unit speed, X equal to unit's max uh, special cooldown count value times 10 plus 10. Huh? That's kind of crazy. So you can get 50%? That's insane. Now you, you can get up to you can get up to 60 if you had a five cooldown special. You get up to 60% freaking... Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> uh, she's got Flash Sparrow, which is pretty solid to get those specials off. Speed and Defense Tempo 4, so you are definitely getting those specials off. And then Pulse Up Blades. Here we go. At the start of turn, grants Attack and Speed plus X to unit for one turn. X equals turn number times two, maximum of six. And grants Special Cooldown Count minus uh, one to unit. Okay, so um, this unit is just specials the unit. 
literally just special. I mean, that's kind of what a green was. Originally, she had like the life and death and then like the special spiral and whatnot. Um, yeah, this is just specials the unit. She just has specials and kills you. That's interesting. That's honestly interesting. Uh, pulse up is uh, a weird skill because it gives you more attack and speed as the t freaking turns go on, but only for a maximum of six. It doesn't work like time spells for so you can't loop things. She seems like a more of a hit and run or like a hit kill and then like warp in with other people. I don't know. That does seem really good though. And finally, we have the Harmonized skill, which grants Resonance Blade, Treachery, and Desperation to units and allies from the same titles as unit. That's really good. So they can get the AoE, then two hits off, dude. Oh, that's crazy. That is freaking crazy. Plus the Resonance Blade and the Treachery for extra damage. Yeah, that's that's really good. This is just another one of those cases of if unit initiates combat, unit wins. But she also provides some support by giving uh, herself and her allies plus one movement, which is really scary, as long as they're infantry or armored, um, which is, that's that's really scary, dude. That's honestly really scary. I don't really know. Maybe maybe stall? <laughs> maybe stall is the way? <laughs> I don't know, dude. That's, that's pretty scary, dude. I won't even lie. That is pretty scary. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about these units. I think they're pretty scary. They're pretty solid. I'm honestly probably going to skip. If I'm going to go for anybody, it's going to be Altina. I might sink like maybe 20, 40 orbs for uh, uh, for Altina. But honestly, I don't really need anybody on this banner. I should just save for characters that I really, really want. So yeah, we'll have to see. We will have to see. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching, buddy. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Good luck on your summons. Bye-bye.